Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to crochet a fall pullover. It's super fun and easy to make. It's work from the top down in one piece, no sewing at all. And you can make it with short sleeve or long sleeve, totally up to you. And I have free written pattern, include this women's sizes, extra small, go up to double XL, is available on our blog at knitcrowaddict.com. And if you prefer the PDF pinnable version, it's available for purchase on our Etsy, Ravelry, and Lovecraft. I'm gonna put all the links in the description below. And for today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you in size small, which is the one that I'm wearing right now. I hope you enjoy and let's get started. For this project, I use Lindy Chain Fingerling Weight Yarn, Super Fine Number no. 1. This one in color linen. In each skin, it has 180 yards. It is 70% linen and 30% Prima Cotton. I use this yarn many times and I love it so much. <laughs> if you wanna substitute yarn, just look for fingering weight yarn and check the gate before you start. And for the top version, I use about 440 yards. And for the sweater version, I use about 730 yards. And please check in description below for more details and also the link to the yarn, to the materials. And I use 4mm crochet hook, scissors, yarn needle, and one stitch marker. Okay, we're gonna start off with a slip knot. And then insert the hook into that slip knot. And I'm gonna make 120 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six seven i have 120 chains and then we're gonna make a single crochet into the first chain that we made and make sure that your chain doesn't twist it okay so here is the first chain that i made i'm gonna make a single crochet there but i like to insert my hook into the little bump on the back of the chain you don't have to do that, totally up to you. So I insert the hook into the little bump on the back of the first chain there. And then yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through those two loops. That is the first single crochet. And then I'm gonna place the stitch marker into the first single crochet. This is round one, okay? The yoke. And then I'm gonna make one single crochet into each chain around. Next chain here. And again, I like to insert into the little bump on the back of the chain. Right there. And then make single crochet. And then single crochet into the next chain. Single crochet into the next chain. single crochet into the next chain all right I'm gonna keep making one single crochet into each chain around and I will be back when I'm at the end of round one I'm at the end of round one I have a total of 120 single crochet stitches around and for round two remove the stitch marker and then into that first stitch, we're gonna make a half double crochet. So yarn over hook, insert the hook into that first stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. That is the first half double crochet on round two. And then place the stitch marker into the first stitch. So we're gonna work in spiral. We're not gonna slip stitch to end the round and we're not gonna chain one to start new round. We're gonna keep on going. That's why we need the stitch marker. And then I'm gonna make half double crochet into each stitch around. Yarn over hook, insert the hook into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. Okay, repeating this. Half double crochet into the next stitch. 
half double crochet into the next stitch and half double crochet into the next stitch. I'm gonna keep making half double crochet into each stitch around and I will be back when I'm at the end of round two. I'm at the end of round two and I have the same 120 stitches around. For round three, remove the stitch marker and then we're gonna make one half double crochet into each of next four stitches and then two half double crochet into the next stitch and that is gonna be the pattern repeat around. So half double crochet into the first stitch here. Here's one and then place the stitch marker into the first stitch. Half double crochet into the next stitch. Here's two. Half double crochet into the next stitch. Three. Half double crochet into the next. Four. And then I'm gonna make two half double crochet into the next stitch to increase. Alright. I'm gonna repeat this around. I'm gonna make half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. One, two, three, four. And then make two half double crochet into the next stitch. Okay, repeat. Make one half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. One, two, three, four. And then make two half double crochet into the next stitch. Alright, so you're gonna repeat, you're gonna make one half double crochet into each of next four stitches and then two half double crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that around and I will be back when I'm at the end of round three. I'm at the end of round three and I have a total of 144 stitches around. I just increased 24 stitches. And for round four, round five and round six, I'm gonna make half double crochet into each stitch around, no increase. And I'm gonna show you a little bit on round four. So remove the stitch marker and then make the first half double crochet into the first stitch. Place the stitch marker into the first stitch and then make half double crochet into the next stitch. Half double crochet into the next stitch and half double crochet into the next stitch. All right, like I said, round four, round five, round six, you're just gonna make half double crochet into each stitch around, no increase. I'm gonna keep doing that and I will be back when I'm at the end of round six. I'm at the end of round six and I have the same, 144 stitches around and for round seven, I'm gonna remove the stitch marker and then I'm gonna make one half double crochet into each of the next five stitches and then two half double crochet into the next stitch. That is gonna be the pattern repeat around. Okay, so make the first half double crochet into the first stitch. Here's one and place the stitch marker into the first stitch. Half double crochet into the next. Here's two half double crochet into the next, three, half double crochet into the next, four, half double crochet into the next, five. Okay, and then make two half double crochet into the next stitch to increase. All right, and then we're gonna repeat this around. I'm gonna make half double crochet into each of the next five stitches. One, 
5 and then make 2 half double crochet into the next stitch and then repeat 1 half double crochet into each of next 5 stitches 1 2 3 4 5 and then 2 half double crochet into the next stitch All right, I'm gonna repeat. I'm gonna make one half double crochet into each of next five stitches and then two half double crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that around. And I will be back when I'm at the end of round seven. I'm at the end of round seven and I have a total of 168 stitches around. I just increased 24 stitches. And then for round eight, round nine, and round 10, I'm gonna make half double crochet into each stitch around, no increase. And I'm gonna show you a little bit on round eight. Remove the stitch marker, and then make the first half double crochet into the first stitch. Place the stitch marker into the first stitch. Half double crochet into the next stitch, half double crochet into the next stitch and half double crochet into the next stitch all right so like i said round eight round nine and round ten you're gonna make half double crochet into each stitch around no increase or decrease i'm gonna keep doing that and i will be back when i'm at the end of round ten I'm at the end of round 10 and I have the same 168 stitches around and for round 11 remove stitch marker and then I'm gonna make one half double crochet into each of next six stitches and then two half double crochet into the next stitch and that is gonna be the pattern repeat around so make half double crochet into the first stitch here Here's one and place the stitch marker into that first stitch. Half double crochet into the next. Here's two. Here's three. Four. Five. Six. And then make two half double crochet into the next stitch and we're gonna repeat this around make one half double crochet into each of next six stitches one two three four five six and then make two half double crochet into the next stitch okay so you're gonna make one half double crochet into each of next six stitches and then two half double crochet into the next stitch keep repeating that around and i will be back when i'm at the end of round 11. i'm at the end of round 11 and i have a total of 192 stitches around i just increased 24 stitches and then for round 12 13 and 14 you're gonna make half double crochet into each stitch around no increase I'm gonna show you a little bit on round 12. Remove the stitch marker and make the first half double crochet into the first stitch. And place the stitch marker into the first stitch. 
and make half double crochet into the next stitch half double crochet into the next stitch half double crochet into the next stitch all right like i said for round 12 13 and 14 you're just gonna make half double crochet into each stitch around no increase or decrease all right i'm gonna keep doing that and i will be back when i'm at the end of round 14. I'm at the end of round 14 and I have the same 192 stitches around and then for round 15 we move the stitch marker and then I'm gonna make one half double crochet into each of next seven stitches and then two half double crochet into the next stitch and that is gonna be the pattern repeat around so make the first half double crochet into the first stitch here and here's one and place the stitch marker into the first stitch half double crochet into the next here's two and here's three four five six seven and then make two half double crochet into the next stitch and then we're gonna repeat make one half double crochet into each of next seven stitches one two three, four, five, six, seven, and then make two half double crochet into the next stitch. And repeat one half double crochet into each of next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then make two half double crochet into the next stitch. All right. You're gonna repeat, you're gonna make one half double crochet into each of next seven stitches and then two half double crochet into the next stitch. Keep repeating that around and I will be back when I'm at the end of round 15. I'm at the end of round 15 and I have a total of 216 stitches around. I just increased 24 stitches. And then for round 16, 17, 18, and 19. I'm gonna make half double crochet into each stitch around. No increase. So I'm gonna show you a little bit on round 16. Remove the stitch marker and then make the first half double crochet into the first stitch. Place the stitch marker into the first stitch. And then make half double crochet into the next stitch. Half double crochet into the next stitch. Half double crochet into the next. Half double crochet into the next. All right. Like I said, for round 16, 17, 18, and 19, we're gonna make half double crochet into each stitch around, no increase or decrease. And I will be back when I'm at the end of round 19. I'm at the end of round 19, and here's what it looks like. And for round 
20, we're going to start separate the sleeve and then continue crochet the body part. Okay, so to do that, remove the stitch marker. And then I'm going to make one half double crochet into each of next 60 stitches. Here's the first half double crochet and place the stitch marker into the first stitch. Here's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, and sixty. Okay, now I have sixty half double crochet, and next I'm gonna skip forty-eight stitches. It's gonna be for the armhole, but first I'm gonna chain five first. So. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, after I chain five, I'm gonna skip 48 stitches. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 46, 47, and 48. Okay, I skip 48 stitches, and then I'm gonna make one half double crochet into each of next 60 stitches. So next stitch right here. A yarn over hook, insert the hook into that next stitch and make half double crochet. And here's one. So we have the armhole here. Okay, half double crochet into the next. Here's two, three, four, Five, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, and sixty. Okay, now I have sixty half double crochet here. Next, I'm gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, five, and then skip forty-eight stitches. So this automatically have forty-eight stitches left because I do some math. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, chain 5 and then skip 48 stitches and this is going to be the end of round 20. And let me show you. And here's what the end of round 20 looks like, okay? As you can see, we have one armhole opening for the sleeve here and then we have one right here. I know it looks weird right now because it's not connected yet. We will connect at the beginning of the next round, which is round 21. Okay, and now for round 21, we're gonna make half double crochet into the first half double crochet here, right at the stitch marker. Remember, round 20, we chain five and then we skip 48 stitches, right? So, yeah, so I remove the stitch marker and remember that stitch and then make half double crochet like that and then place the stitch marker into the first stitch and now it's look better because it's all connected so I have this uh, armhole opening here and then I have armhole opening here and now we're just gonna continue crochet the body part down so we have the first stitch on round 21 here and then I'm gonna make one half double crochet into each stitch and then into each chain around. Half double crochet into the next stitch, half double crochet into the next stitch and half double crochet into the next, half double crochet into the next and half double crochet into the next. All right, I'm going to keep making half double crochet into each stitch. And I will be back when I reach this uh, chain space and I will show you how I crochet into this 
change space. We do the same, just have the bokoh shape, but I wanna show you anyways. So yeah, I will be back. Okay, now I reach the chain five space. I can now continue make a half double crochet into each chain across. So next chain here, make a half double crochet, and then half double crochet into the next chain, half double crochet into the next chain, half double crochet into the next chain. Just do the same. And then we're gonna make half double crochet into each stitch. See, just continue. Make a half double crochet like that. And here's what it looks like. And now you just continue make a half double crochet into each stitch. And when you reach the other chain five space, you can now continue make a half double crochet into each chain across to the stitch marker. And then I will be back. I'm at the end of round 21 and I have a total of 130 stitches around. Make sure to cover your stitches. Okay, and for round 22, we're gonna increase. So, I'm gonna remove the stitch marker. And then I'm gonna make one half double crochet into each of next four stitches, and then two half double crochet into the next stitch. So that is gonna be the pattern repeat around. So after I remove the stitch marker, I'm gonna make the first half double crochet into that first stitch. Here's one, place the stitch marker into the first stitch. Here's two, three, four. And then make two half double crochet into the next stitch. And then we're gonna repeat. We're gonna make one half double crochet into each of next four stitches. One, two, three, four. And then make two half double crochet into the next stitch. I tell you one more time. Repeat one half double crochet into each of next four stitches. One, two, three, four. And then make two half double crochet into the next stitch. So next, you're gonna repeat, you're gonna make one half double crochet into each of next four stitches and then two half double crochet into the next stitch. Keep repeating that around and I will be back when I'm at the end of round 22. I'm at the end of round 22 and I have a total of 156 stitches around. I just increased 26 stitches and then for round 23, round 24, and round 25, I'm gonna make one half double crochet into each stitch around. No increase or decrease, okay? I'm gonna show you a little bit on round 23. Remove the stitch marker. And then make the first half double crochet into the first stitch there. And place the stitch marker into the first stitch half double crochet into the next stitch, half double crochet into the next stitch, and half double crochet into the next, half double crochet into the next, and half double crochet into the next. All right. Like I said, round 23, 24, and 25. 
I can now make half double crochet into each stitch around and then I will be back when I'm at the end of round 25. I'm at the end of round 25 and I have the same 156 stitches around and then for round 26 we can now increase so I can now make one half double crochet into each of next five stitches and then two half double crochet into the next stitch and that is gonna be pattern repeat around so remove the stitch marker and make the first half double crochet into the first stitch and here's one and place the stitch marker into the first stitch two three, four, five and then make two half double crochet into the next stitch repeat make one half double crochet into each of next five stitches one two, three, four, five and then make two half double crochet into the next stitch repeat one half double crochet into each of next five stitches one, two, three, four, five and then make two half double crochet into the next stitch all right next you're just gonna keep repeating this pattern you're gonna make one half double crochet into each of next five stitches and then two half double crochet into the next stitch keep repeating that around and I will be back when I'm at the end of round 26. I'm at the end of round 26 and I have a total of 182 stitches around. I just increased 26 stitches. And then for round 27 to round 33, I'm gonna make one half double crochet into each stitch around. No increase or decrease in every round you should have the same amount of these stitches and now if you want a shorter top make less round and if you want a longer top make more round okay just make half double crochet into each stitch around very easy and I'm gonna show you a little bit on round 27 so I remove the stitch marker and then make the first half double crochet into the first stitch and place the stitch marker into the first stitch half double crochet into the next stitch half double crochet into the next stitch half double crochet into the next half double crochet into the next very easy pattern oops all right so like i said for round 27 to round 33 i'm gonna make half double crochet into each stitch around very very easy and then i will be back when i'm at the end of round 33 good luck and take your time i'm at the end of round 33 but i haven't made the last stitch yet for the last stitch, I'm gonna make a single crochet instead of half double crochet because the single crochet is shorter than a half double crochet. Make it smoother at the end, okay? If you prefer just half double crochet, totally fine. I just wanna share with you what I like to do and what I have learned. Okay, so let's make the last stitch together. So insert the hook into the last stitch yarn over pull up a loop two loops on the hook yarn over and pull through those two loops next i'm gonna cut the yarn 
leave a little bit of tail just enough to weave in the end and then pull the yarn out and then I bring my yarn needle insert the tail into my yarn needle and now we're gonna weave the end so I gonna skip the next stitch which is this stitch marker here and then insert my needle into the next stitch and I gonna remove the stitch marker put my yarn needle in there and then I gonna insert my yarn needle back into the last single crochet that I just made right at the middle here the V shape and then bring it in inside the top like that see I just create a new stitch that's why we skip one stitch right there and then I'm gonna continue weaving my end inside the top and I'm gonna come back and weave my end later here and here's what it looks like very nice and smooth All right, so now if you want just to make a top version, you just weaving all the ends and you are done. And if you want to make a sweater version, keep on watching. I'm going to show you how to add the sleeve. Okay, for the sleeve, I went ahead and crochet one side here. And here's what it looks like. Both sides crochet exactly the same. So. We're gonna crochet on the right side in the round. First, we're gonna add a new yarn right at the corner, the armpit corner here, around here. So I insert the hook there and bring the new yarn, hold it on the back, yarn over hook, pull up a loop, and chain one. The chain one doesn't count it as dead. And then into the same stitch, I'm gonna make a half double crochet. Okay, this is the first half double crochet. And then I'm gonna place the stitch marker into the first stitch. And then I'm gonna make half double crochet right at the same corner space, corner stitch, but just right here. That is still at the corner. Make half double crochet like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna make one half double crochet into each stitch around the sleeve until I reach the other corner and I will show you. This is round one on the sleeve. So I make half double crochet into the next stitch here. Half double crochet into the next stitch half double crochet into the next stitch half double crochet into the next stitch half double crochet into the next half double crochet into the next all right I'm gonna keep doing that until I reach the other corner and then I will be back okay now I reach the other corner here I'm gonna make two half double crochet into that corner we do that because we try to avoid the big hole. Okay, so at the corner here, make a half double crochet. And then half double crochet right here. Like that. And then I'm gonna make one half double crochet into each stitch across. This is the chain five space when we make the body part. Okay, so make half double crochet into the next stitch here, half double crochet into the next, okay, half double crochet into the next, half double crochet into the next, and then half double crochet into the next, like that. And at the end of round one for the sleeve, I have a total of 57 stitches around. 
If you have a couple more or a couple less, it's totally fine. Just make sure that it's fit nice on you. Okay? Round two to round 37, I'm gonna make half double crochet into each stitch around. No increase, no decrease. Very, very easy. I'm gonna show you. So first, remove the stitch marker and then make the first half double crochet into that first stitch. And place the stitch marker into the first stitch. So we will in spiral, we're not gonna slip stitch to end the round and we're not gonna chain one to start new round. We're just gonna keep on going. So make sure to place the stitch marker into the first stitch. Okay, and then I'm gonna make half double crochet into the next stitch. 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 All right, keep making half double crochet into each stitch around. And I will be back when I'm at the end of round two. I'm at the end of round two. I have the same, 57 stitches around. And for round three to round 37, I'm gonna repeat round two. Like I said, we're just gonna make half double crochet into each stitch around. I'm gonna show you a little bit on round three. So I remove the stitch marker. And I'm gonna make the first half double crochet into the first stitch. Place the stitch marker into the first stitch. Half double crochet into the next stitch. Half double crochet into the next. Half double crochet into the next. And half double crochet into the next. All right, I'm gonna keep repeating round two until I reach the end of round 37 and then I will be back. If you want a shorter sleeve, make less round. If you want longer sleeve, make more round. I'm gonna keep doing that and I will be back when I'm at the end of round 37. Good luck and take your time. I'm at the end of round 37 here, but I haven't made the last stitch yet. For the last stitch, I'm gonna make a single crochet instead of half double crochet. Like I show you on the body part here because I want at the end kinda smooth, okay? So the last stitch here, I'm gonna make a single crochet. Insert the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through those two loops. And now I'm done with my sleeve. I'm gonna cut the yarn, leave a little bit of tail, just enough to weave in the end later, and then pull the yarn out. And I'm just gonna remove the stitch marker. And I will weave the end later. I weave the end exactly the same as the body part I showed you earlier. And that's it. You just need to weave all the ends, and you are done. Yay! I hope you enjoyed making this sweater. If you did, please give this video a big thumb up and share this video with your friends. And I would love to see everyone's work. If you wanna share with me, just text me on Facebook or Instagram at knitcrawaddict. I'm gonna put all the links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next video. Bye bye.